Today we are doing a walkthrough of the Zero BS CRM with Gravity Farms and in specifically the custom fields mode so and how you can set up your farm to accept custom fields. So this is the custom fields tab and you'll have a number of custom fields under customers and so I've got three here and so however you've got that set up we'll get onto that a little bit later. So this is the custom fields tab, it's under settings custom fields. So for Gravity Farms you need to go to Gravity Farms and create a new farm and we'll call this customer collect this collects customers and then you need to start adding your fields so if you go to advanced fields you'll see here you have your usual um, things like name, so we're dragging name, and then if you go to advanced, you have default values or general. In your so, if you put your prefix, you can have prefix first and last, which is what we recommend. So then you can add your other elements for the CRM, such as email. So name and email are required by the CRM. So you should do that in where you say field required, tick the required under each field. And the same with email required. So that's all you, all you need for the basic um, customer collection. You can add address, phone numbers if you want, um, but I'm going to cover the custom fields. So the custom fields go back to standard fields and so say you want to add a single line text. So this will be your custom field. So let's go and add, let's call this custom field one. And then appearance, this is if you want to style it in any other ways, I'll give it a placeholder, but if you go to advanced under the admin field label, so this is where you need to go back to your um, custom field settings. So you see here that you've got under custom fields, we've got three custom fields. So the way that the CRM um, labels these is it's CF1, CF2, CF3 down this list. So you need to know which number of your list you're doing. So we're doing custom field one, which is CF1. So admin field label CF1, and then that's that field. So again, we, we're ca capturing the custom field, and then we'll do the same so for, for the select box. So custom field three, and we're doing a select, and we're selecting what type of meat that we like in this example. So again, we can say drop down. Edit it the same way. So, and it's important that these match what you had in your settings. So, we'll make sure that they match. Then again, under advanced admin field label CF3 because it's custom field three. Yeah, custom third one in the list, custom field three. And then the final thing that we need to add is a hidden field. And this is the hidden field that we then call add to ZPS. Default value add to ZPS. So this is telling it to add. And because it's hidden, users won't be able to change it. So then we update the farm. And the next thing we want to do is add the farm to a page. So we add a new page and say customer collect. Then you say add farm, select your farm that you've just made, and you can insert your farm there. Save the page. And then visit the page that you just created. And you'll see this is your customer platform. And you've got our two custom fields that we're collecting data from. So if we go to our customers, you'll see these are some that I've been testing. So let's create one. So it'll be Dr. So 
So these emails don't exist, but it's just for demo purposes. So we'll sub that, submit this person, and it's, this is what the user sees. They'll say thanks for contacting us. We'll get in touch with you shortly. I'm back on the customer tab. You'll see he's been created as a lead in your CRM. And then going into this customer, that custom fields have been set, custom field one, and what do you love? So that's worked for that person. And that's all there is to it.